Hello there and welcome on another episode of our program. And today, we are going to discuss about the Football Federation President Samuel Eto'o caught in a perilous mood with the coach of the indomitable Lions, the Belgian Matt Bribes. The incident has left the nation divided in opinions about leadership and good governance. We are going to casually discuss the implications on the continent. And our panelists for today, as usual, are Tinker King, a political pundit, a singer and a writer, and also Paul Hockney, an author, a poet, LLM student in international law and a political consultant. My name is Olivia Quincy and you're welcome on Africans React. Stay tuned. So the nation of Paul, Bia, used to be dynamic and spectacular in football when Bia was a little younger. Those days seem to be over. Um, Bia nation is getting older in infrastructure and policies and even the sports sector looks tight and disorderly, as we saw in the video previously. Tega, in your view, what accounts for these setbacks? Thank you very much, uh, Quincy, for that uh, rather sensitive and uh, well-coined question. The country called Cameroon has not yet detached from the colonial setup. So the old political class during the uh, time of uh, Aijo or even during the time of the colonial master is still there. And one of those big products of that period is the person uh, you, you find as the leader of Cameroon, who is Paul Beer. So in the Francophone space, uh, Cameroon is generally known as uh, a country that is ruled by a puppet of the West. And uh, we already know what uh, comes with that. The, we, we, we know that it is everything is centralized. That's the first thing to do. Everything is centralized to the level where sectors such as uh, the F Football Federation cannot even be led to act independently. Can you, could you imagine this? FIFA uh, abhors anything that will intervene or interfere with politics or if uh, uh, politi or politicians have to intervene or interfere with uh, the, the leadership or the organization. In other words, FIFA does not like the, the football federations to be politicized in any way. This is exactly what has happened in Cameroon because, like I said, it's a centralized state uh, ruled by one person. Based on this, everything must go through some kind of bureaucracy that makes it so difficult for investors that make it difficult for uh, people in the diaspora to want to return because when they return, they, they, they find it difficult even to create companies for you to open a company in, in a, uh, to own a company in Cameroon. You will go through hurdles that you, you will not imagine the time that you are going to take. You meet someone in this office is speaking to you like you came to beg. I mean, you, you know what I mean? You came to beg to get something from him. The whole system is corrupt to the core. The system is so poorly organized. There is no vision. There, is, there are no goals. There are no objectives, even short term or long term. Nothing like that. It's all about one man. And so in Cameroon, you always hear this consistent uh, uh, slogan of uh, haute instruction. Haute instruction means higher or high uh, instructions, instructions from the high office, instruction from the high office, instruction, you always hear that. Because there's one old man who has virtually no vision, has no plan, and even if he has a plan, like some of the colonial plans he will bring at a particular time, I would say a vision, is a vision uh, 2035. You know, all those, those kinds of things. You will see a very good document put down, but there are no practical activities that will help achieve certain milestones that you will clearly identify that these are indicators of, of growth or success. You know, so you don't see that. It's extremely a difficult environment to do business, a difficult environment to live for people who want to live freely. 
very and very you mean in right yes yes. Yes. yes yes so when you come and you think you want to change the system like what Eto did before Eto came to be a the leader or the president of uh, Thika Foot which is the football association in that nation before Eto came to do that he was given a contract in Russia and well paid you know Eto fees let me ex give a background of Eto fees Samuel Eto fees could be um, would I say is the greatest uh, legend African football legend of all times you can check that it, it's founded this uh, this claim is founded but we understand we understand he has all these records is that why he got the opportunity or is that why he got the power to do what he did or yes somehow that... somehow because he's very influential he's adored he's virtually adored there is a group they call Glees, the glisian the glisian is like a kind of a club we will say it's a club. It's not really formal. I don't know how they, they have not re registered it as a formal club, but everybody knows everyone who is in Leglisien is somebody who supports Etofis, who adores, I mean, virtually adores Etofis. You wouldn't, un you wouldn't understand what is going on in Cameroon since this problem started. It has only led to more and more problems since we had this uh, particular incident. That incident, it went viral all over the world. People spoke about it everywhere, even in Europe, even in India, just everywhere. This uh, particular incident was talked about. But what we don't realize is that Samuel Eto, with all these uh, accolades, backgrounds, and very heavy uh, pr 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 profile, he, he holds a kind of posture which is which is classified by many Cameroonians as pride. A part of the fact that he's very erratic with his uh, when 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 emotions are, are concerned, he is also somebody who is very proud. So, uh, and, and he should be. But the problem has always been uh, a lot of people in the government have had some kind of. Uh, uh, feelings uh, that uh, he is he is not respectful. He does not respect them. Once he disrespected the 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 prime minister by not picking up a flag which was to be given to him. So the, recently he was in serious uh, loggerheads with the, the minister of sports and physical education, a guy yeah. called uh, uh, Nasis Nasis Mwele Kombi, minister of sports and physical education. So he was at loggerhead with this guy for a long time. Why? Because when he came, when he came up, he decided to bring his own coach. He appointed a coach. The minister did not like that coach. The minister wanted a different coach. He appointed a coach. Okay, so when, when he came, he appointed his own coach. Yeah, he appointed, of the yes, oh. he appointed his own coach. That's a few years ago. He appointed his own coach and uh, terminated the uh, appointment of a coach who was already there. You, you get the point. So he appointed a local coach. Unfortunately, they went for the African Nations Cup in Cote d'Ivoire and they lost it. So the minister felt that this is the moment to uh, tell it to that, okay, uh, you, you, your coach is not the best. You, you really don't have the capacity. I'm going to do it myself. So the minister decided to appoint a coach. Okay. So and the, you think this is, that was all? Yeah, so when the, minister, when the minister did this, Eto was taken aback somehow, but finally he realized that it was not something that he could uh, he could do otherwise because his records were poor. I mean, uh, many things were going against him, and they have already inserted him in the political in a political. What I told you about the centralization of the system for you to be very effective or for you to to make impact for you to make impact in Cameroon in any way you have to be part of the system. If you want to make impact, you have to be part of the system. You are not part of the system. Of course, you will make impact, but it will be ignored. It will be nothing because at the end of the day, there is a way that France has arranged for elections to always be rigged. You will not win. The existing president will win the election. They, they have a kind of craft. They, they, they are an expert in the craft on how to rig elections. And they rig it in such a way that whether you take anyone to the court, you won't win. You, you get the point. You won't win. So Eto, uh, understanding these dynamics of you will never be a leader, you will never be a president. So what he decided to do was to support the existing leader, who is an old guy, 
And uh, he became now a very strong force because at the end of the day, some people were thinking, or many and younger or young Cameroonians were thinking, if the president is no more there, this guy can inherit, <laughs> you know, as if he's an in, as, as if he's kingship. In their minds, this guy can inherit the president. Can you believe that? And and and, and which because guy? That's what they're that? saying because if you listen to, if you listen to your discussions, you think that uh, there will be no elections, and of course, that's the truth. Even if there is elections, it's going to just going to, it's just going to be formal. It's just it's just something formal. But the real thing will be that the person the president chooses is the person who is going to be the president. You get the point. Okay. So these okay. all of these uh, uh, went to a level where uh, they were like some kind of camps, you no know, clans created around the president. People creating camps around the president to look for succession opportunities. Just. When the president dies, because he's, he's in a Nigerian, he can die at any time. He is he's ninety, is ninety, about ninety-two years old. He can mm -hmm. go at any time. So, based on that, there's been this fight. Those who want to show that they love him so much because he is a god. I mean, this that guy is a god in that country. What he says is final, you know. Like so, some, some, it is a god in that in their country. So I'm talking about the president. The president is a the god. Is a god. Yes, okay. because he holds a political power. Somewhere to can go ahead. Go to the world and uh, uh, show his uh, accolades and show his uh, his awards and all of that. But in the nation, it, it, it requires that you have the military behind you. And so when Samuel came, one of the things he started doing was trying to to affiliate with with the, the with the soldiers, so with some generals, with some uh, very important personalities. Even when this uh, guy in uh, Burkina Faso came up, when uh, Ibrahim Traoré uh, took over power there. He has been one of the persons who went to visit Ibrahim Traoré and was given a presidential uh, welcome and all of that. So he's been building not only in within the nation, but he's also been building building some kind of relationship within the continent, wanting to follow that footsteps that we see, what we saw with George Weah. But Cameroon is a very complex, very difficult country. Mm -hmm. What you saw there in the video is an exhibition of the struggles or the problems or the conflicts that exist between uh, various camps that are looking for possibilities to hold power. And that some of some of the people, especially the younger ones, they thought that this is the person who is going to take over if Bia is not around. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Bia does not have, it, w w the way I look at it, Bia does not even have that kind of intention like, let me let this nation move towards what we call uh, transition at this point in time because the constitution provides for that uh, opportunity for for the, the 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 nation to move into some kind of a transition so that I can keep somebody who already has some kind of political capital uh, and it will be easier for everyone to support him and there will be no problems at the end of the day if I leave if I'm no more there it's all about him he's still there if you dare talk about leadership I mean somebody was jailed for 25 years with the alibi that he was corrupt because he had made efforts, he had dare said he was going to be the president of Cameroon. He wanted that he had intentions to be the president of Cameroon. And you think this, this, think is, the Marapa, this, the reason, this is the reasons for these setbacks? This, these are the reasons for the setbacks that yeah, are the, the, the main reason is that the nation is uh, led by a kind of uh, uh, a system that is so centralized that everything has to be under the 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 leader the, the the president so he the president with his um with the gang that is around him or the groups that are around him fighting everyone fighting to make sure that the the blackmail the other one the the kick off the other one the the report the other one to the president the the place the other one in a position where the 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 president will love them more you know so you will be, always be looking for you always be looking for something to blackmail the other uh, other group so that the lead the, the main person will love you more. This is what is good, and these are the people who are ruling the country. So you will hear odd instruction when the guy who was sent there, that guy who was sent there, that it was was shouting on, on the way the current two of them. That guy is an advisor of the minister of sports, the minister of sports okay. and education. He went there and created all this drama, you know, speaking to Eto as though Eto has no right. To do whatever they have already selected a new coach and they have selected a team a new team it was said he may permit the coach 
but he cannot permit that the team that he has to work with in the football association should be selected by the minister. Unfortunately, these are the dynamics. It is the ministry, that's the government that pays these particular people, these people who are working with him. Okay. So in oh, other okay. countries, in other uh, European or developed countries, what, what used to happen is that this football association handles its affairs. It handles its affairs and pays its, uh, its workers or its employees. There are many things they could do to raise funds so that that organization could even be, even be independent. And those are some of the things he thought he would come and do. Not knowing he's coming to a system that is so rough, so difficult, you cannot penetrate. So he's getting frustrated day by day. He, you can see that he's getting frustrated day by day. He cannot change anything and is not also performing well when it comes to the pitch. I mean, the coach that he brought, for example, there was no result, no, no, no good result. So everything is just dying off as the old man is dying, Cameroon is dying with everything. And even the last pride, which was football, is also dying off, just like an old lion okay. that uh, is okay. dying and hated by everyone. Okay, thank you very much, Tega, for this. And uh, Paul, um, about everything that we've discussed so far, what's your view, what's your take on this? Yeah, hi, Quincy. Hi, Tega. Hi to our viewers and listeners um, in Africa and um, worldwide. You see, I'm actually very surprised to um, hear some revelations about Paul Bia, the Cameroonian president. In yeah. fact, all along, um, he's a person I have always had a strong admiration for. I admire right. him so much from, from afar. You see, uh, I, I mean, one of the main reasons, I guess, is because we share the same name. And then um, he looks very innocent and very loving and very calm and Yeah, I mean, like Peter said, he's worshipped as a yeah. god in the attention. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then I am, I am also highly surprised to okay. hear that Samuel Eto um, has a, a bit of pride as part of his personality traits. I mean, mm -hmm. um, looking at him also from afar, um, one would not associate Eto with pride or even um, politics or um, shenanigans um, in any way okay. well um we are in a i mean uh, we are in the universe and then we have different i mean uh, people and then how they react to certain situations so mm -hmm. in some of these things i always i mean um, give people the benefit of their doubts um regarding the the football impasse in cameroon uh, i am not actually a football aficionado but uh, I mean, um, what I got it was that the this this coach, Mark Bryce, who is a Belgian, mm -hmm. was appointed by the Ministry of Sports. Now the question here we should ask is, what is the modus operandi? What is the the law in Cameroon when it comes to appointment of coaches? And also when it comes to how their football federation, which is called Fekafort, is, 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 is managed. Is it that when a coach is to be appointed, is the sole responsibility left on Fekafort or the responsibility is on the ministry? So that when we are able to establish this, then you can tell that you can tell which particular side of the story is in the wrong, or which particular side has usurped power, or which particular side has performed in excess of its power. So, as it stands, if it were that the, the responsibility of appointing a, a coach solely lies in the ministry, then Eto, Samuel Eto, who is the president of Fekafort? Which Fekafort is the football? I mean, that is the I mean the federation, the the mother. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the umbrella body for I mean uh, football when it comes to, to uh, I mean Cameroon. Then it means that 
Eto would, would be at fault if he's trying to rub shoulders. If, on the other hand, the responsibility of appointing a coach solely lies on Fekafort and Eto, and the ministry mm -hmm. appointed Mark Price, then it means that the ministry has also performed an excess or, uh, I mean, uh, of their power. So okay. we need to, first of all, establish that. But <laughs> nonetheless, again, the story also has it that when the ministry appointed Mac, I mean, Bryce, uh, it, it generated tension. And during the unveiling, you know, mostly they will unveil the coach, they will bring him out to uh, showcase to the public. Samuel Leto and his faker for didn't show up. So <laughs> yeah, you would also want to see how the whole thing is, I mean, the genesis is. But if I were Eto or, or Fekker Ford, I would have at least uh, shown up, but uh, expressed displeasure on, on, I mean, uh, on national television. I, however, I, however, hear that the coach, I mean, uh, after this whole fracas, the coach, uh, has been reinstalled or reinstated. And then I think there has been apologies um, shared between Samuel Eto and his faker foot, and then also from the Ministry of Sports. That not, uh, or that having, uh, having said this, I want to um, also throw a little light on what uh, Tega said regarding corruption in African football. And then also, I mean, orders from above. You see, it cuts across, I mean, uh, all this, 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 this canker, this minus of, I mean, orders from ab above and then putting people that do not actually merit certain positions because they know certain people. I mean, uh, um, that encourages mediocrity. And I'm trying to say that it cuts across uh, I mean, uh, Africa, in Central Africa, in East Africa, in West Africa, in South Africa. Uh, the, there's this issue of, I mean, bribery and corruption. Uh, I mean, it, it cuts across. Would you believe that, uh, I mean, the, 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 there was an alleged case that even in Africa, I mean, they were, were trying to have a particular, there, there was a tournament organized um, in one of the European countries. And this tournament was meant for, I mean, those who were the deaf and then the dumb, those who could not hear and talk. But African countries went with people who could speak, who could hear and talk very well. And when the people went there, they could not even, I mean, the players, instead of them to pretend, even at least mm -hmm. to camouflage, they went and they were listening to, I mean, music on large, I mean, uh, headphones and singing along in the buses. And that, 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 that called for, I mean, suspicion, and those countries, or that particular country was suspended. You will also even see that this corruption cuts across, I mean, uh, I mean football age. Okay. There was this, uh, I mean, story about a Nigerian footballer. They were twins, actually. I see the, the Tewo twins. One was Te Tewo, and when he was celebrating his, uh, I mean, the brother was celebrating uh, in his 40th birthday or something, the other twin brother was 20 something years old or something like that. I mean, how can you be twins and then you are 10 years older than your twin brother? You get that? Exactly. Because the yeah. twin brother was a footballer somewhere. And that was how they, they, they were able to get the guy because his twin brother was in Nigeria uh, celebrating a birthday and then it didn't correspond by age. So the, the corruption cuts across. And also in Ghana, same. You see, we've had these issues. With our, I mean, uh, uh, the, our our confederation, I mean, our football unit also. Well, when Kwesinya Techi was 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 on board, we had all this. Uh, there there was a fracas between himself and then, I mean, after he, he left Ketekre, who came, then the the fracas about the Abedipele family and all those stuff, even to the extent that right now, uh, 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 I mean, Ghana will be playing the match soon. And then um, uh, Andre Dede you is not part of the team because the coach thought he did not merit. I mean, and Ghanaians are making a whole lot of noise. So you see, if we it's high time we distinguish between sports and politics. 
you see that Samuel Eto is beginning to lose the respect he has he has had, he has accumulated over the years. Myself, having heard Tega speak, I'm beginning to think otherwise about him. This is because he has marred his hands in politics. And I mean, politics, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 spoils all these, these things. So if you want to play very well in the, in the sports industry and soccer for that matter, Let's not forget that soccer is a highly placed, I mean, uh, sport in the world right now. And so you don't want to tarnish your image by entering politics, Olivia. Mm -hmm.